Mission Impossible for La Roca this week. Of course, as the World Cup qualifying campaign rears its ugly head. Of course, standing in the way is Neymar and Boazou. Can they do it? Can they do it with the unthinkable? We'll take a little look. Next. Video today, we look forward to match day number. I'll tell you in a second. Match day number. What is it? It's bloody 17. That's right, over in South America. And we'll get to that in just one second. If you're new, where you've been, stop what you're doing, swallow what you're doing, smash the old subscribe, keep your bang up today. All things World Cup related, Co NBL related, well, well football itself. Right? We're all here, boys. Under one Ruski, of course. Yes, Neymar, Brazil, Rick Carlson, bloody Edison. Whoever else you want to know, you want to throw in the deep end, are standing in the way between Viva, Viva La Roca, Big Bad Boy Brenton Diaz, and of course a World Cup berth. Can Chile get get over the line, get the three points, and keep their dreams realistically alive? Otherwise, we're going to be looking forward to uh, to uh, an early bath for Chile. We'll get to it in a minute. Of course, big shout out to my VIPs and other patrons, guys. And of course, if you're new, check out the links down below. So let's get into it, of course, and have a look at uh, what went on last time around in the South American Quali World Cup qualifying campaign. So these are the results, of course. Uh, and the table as well. Bolivia uh, picked up a, a loss to Chile. Massive game, that massive result as well. Chile 3-2 in the end. Held on for dear life on that one. Uruguay picked up a 4-1 win over Venezuela. Of course, didn't do uh, Chile any favours there. They're up to fourth, sitting pretty at the moment. Argentina, of course, 1-0 winners over Colombia. Of course, Brazil with a 4-0 win over Paraguay. And, of course, Peru with the draw against Ecuador, which, again, I think has given uh, the Chileans a bit of hope. Uh, of course, that's the state of play there. And as I think, I think I got them all bloody right. Like, five out of five. You, you just, you can't, make this shit. You're just born with it or something like that. I don't know. If you're, if you're a prediction king like me, you're a prediction king like me. But anyway, let's take a look, a long, hard look at the table. Of course, Brazil, Argentina, they're there already and they've been there for a while and of course they're going to go in there probably unbeaten, we would see. Uh, of course, Ecuador are pretty much close to being there as well. Again, there is eight. Uh, there is six points on the offering for, uh, so, so Chile's maximum points could be 25. So they could technically finish in third, but realistically I don't see that happening. That's just, that's, well, we, 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 we might see it happening, but of course, uh, picking up uh, three in the final game, final, final thing would be, um, would be a, a, a more realistic shout. So, Anyway, so again, we would it would all depend on on what's going on between Uruguay and Peru. So if 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 it's it's it's, it's I'm I'm trying to work it out for for Diaz and of course Chile and of course their hopes and dreams and stuff like that for Venezuela they're toast Paraguay are toast Bolivia are toast Colombia are just about toast I think twenty points twenty three points they could still mathematically do it but anyway it's a long old chalk uh, for just a couple spots left let's take a look at who else did well just like me Jimmy Watton Winky Emmanuel Sane Hans Worst Kevin Shepard and Carl Mackin of course got top bins well done to you guys for doing the business let's take a look at the mini leaderboard the mini leaderboard the actual leaderboard Hans Worst leading the charge Emmanuel Sane's in second and Winky is in third in the table now we have got uh, ten points on the offering still. So so you'd probably go all the way down to eighth, maybe realistically sixth, uh, to see who could actually compete for the gong at the end of it. So let's so take a look at it. This is the link. If all shows WC22, that's the picks. These are the next games, of course. Uh, and uh, uh, we kick it all off with a bit of a belter. It's Uruguay, it's Peru. And again, both of these two sides, are nations are well and truly in the race for uh, for the World Cup. But of course, a win for Peru would put them on to uh, 24 points. And a win for Uruguay would put them on to 25 and probably uncatchable. So that's what's on the offering. A draw again it w it might work out favourable for the likes of Chile. So we'll see about that. Uh, and so a draw will put them on at 23. Uh, again, again, realistically, you probably want a Peru win, I think. I'll put them on to 24 points. And then I'll put Uruguay and Chile in a straight shootout. Straight shootout. Yeah. Three. Yeah, that's it. A win for Peru. And a win for, uh, you know, and of course, if Chile were to fluke something against Brazil, you just don't know anyway. So here we go. Let's 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 not fanny around and let's get the meat, the meat of the matter. Let's take a look at Uruguay against, against Peru then, shall we? Of course, now these two sides have played each other 16 times since 1930. Seven wins for Uruguay, five wins for Peru and four draws. Of course, back to back wins though for Uruguay right, right now. 33% perform for them. Up against Peru side, unbeaten in the last uh, seven games. 83% perform for them, winning four of the last six as well. Coming at you, uh, the biggest win for Peru over Uruguay was a 3-0 win. The biggest win the other way was a 6-0 win. 
win. Uh, Peru have actually scored just 20 goals compared to Uruguay's 26 over the course of those 16 games. Works out around about 1.63 goals game ratio for Uruguay, 1.25 goals game ratio for Peru. Uh, of course, Kevin Atchel, the last time they over in Uruguay. It was a new uh, one-year win for Uruguay. That's back in October 2019. The reverse fixture in Peru was a 1-1 draw back in September. Peru picking up a draw against Ecuador last time around. Of course, Uruguay with a 4-1 over Venezuela last time around. Again, the odds for this one. We're going to look at the odds. The 20-13 on you. Uruguay are your favourites. 5-1 to one is Uruguay when that's Peru. And 12-5 to five is your draw. And back in, of course, unfortunately, Uruguay here, which will put them probably uh, too far gone for the likes of Chile, even if they were to... Well, unless, unless Chile do, do get results. Uh, meanwhile, kicking off was Colombia against Bolivia. That's right. And again, Colombia need to win and hopefully everything else goes their way. But anyway, pleasure the 12 times, done three. Eight was the Colombia, just one for Bolivia and three draws, of course. Just one and a sixth of Colombia right now, 33% form against Bolivia side. One, three, lost three of the last six, 50% form for them. At the moment, of course, the one and only win for Bolivia was a 4 0 win. The biggest win for Colombia, though, was a 5 0 win. In fact, Colombia scored 19 goals compared to Bolivia's nine over the course of those 12 games. Works out around about 1.58 goals game ratio compared to 0.75 goals game ratio for Bolivia. Uh, meanwhile, Bolivia coming to this on the back of a, uh, well, we'll look at their results in a minute. But last time I played you, the over in Colombia uh, was a 1 0 win for Colombia back in March 2017. The reverse fixture in Bolivia, this, this campaign was a 1 1 draw back in September. Bolivia picking up a 3 2 loss against Chile. And of course, Colombia did lose to Argentina last time around, but haven't scored in back-to-back -back games, so a bit of a shit show for Colombia at the moment. The odds for this one, though, Colombia are actually 6-1 to on for the Rikishi, 60-1 to one is your Bolivia, and 6-1 to one is your draw. Uh, I'm going to back, what am I backing? Backing, of course, Colombia here with a 2 to win for them at home. Of course they have, should get enough over the line to win this one. And then it's a bit of a zinger-zinger. Here it is, it's Brazil, it's Chile, it is over in Brazil as well. Now, they've played each other 19 times in 1952, just 16 wins for Brazil, one win for Chile, and two draws. So the one and only win for Chile was a 2-0 win. The biggest win for Brazil was a 6-1 win. Uh, they've scored 52, go 52 goals compared to Chile's 15, uh, which works out around about 274 goals game ratio for Brazil and 0.79 goals game ratio for Chile. Chile coming to this, though, of course, 58% uh, forward for them right now. Just one defeat past four for them. Up against the Brazil side, 75% forward for them. 1-3 and drawn three over the last six. Last time the pressure though in Brazil uh, was a, what, a 3 0 win for Brazil back in October 2017. The reverse fixture in Chile was a 1-0 for Brazil back in September. Of course, last time around, Chile with a 3 to win over Bolivia, but Brazil with a 4-0 win over Paraguay. The odds, though, for this one, quite tight. It's looking the mission impossible, like I said. 5-2 uh, on for Brazil. 7-2 is your draw. 7-1 is your long shots. That's Chile. So, unfortunately, I think they will lose. 3-1 win in the end for Brazil. As much as I want to see it, as much as I'm going with my head here. And I think Brazil will take the L on this one. Kicking off always Paraguay up against Ecuador. Let's get into this one then, shall we? Now these two sides up each other ten times is on three. Four for Paraguay, three for Ecuador, and three draws. Of course, Paraguay though haven't won in the last seven. Eight percent four for them right now. Ecuador, of course, unbeaten in the last seven. Pick up three draws though. So I'm one in three as well, but th uh, unbeaten in seven. Pick up three wins, three draws over the last six. Seventy-five percent form total. The biggest win Ecuador over Paraguay was a four-one win. The biggest win was a five-one win. Seventeen goals scored by Paraguay over the course of those ten games. Eighteen goals scored by Ecuador. Works out around about one point eight goals game ratio compared to the 1.7 goals ratio for Paraguay. Paraguay, of course, uh, um, beat uh, Ecuador 2-1 last time around, in, of course, in Paraguay. That's, of course, back in March 2017. The reverse fixture over in Ecuador was a 2 win for Ecuador back in September. Uh, meanwhile, Ecuador picking up a 1-1 draw against Peru, and, of course, Paraguay uh, with a 4-0 loss against Brazil. And I haven't scored in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, at least 6 games. 6 games, 7 games. 7 games without a goal. I know what you're feeling. I know what you're feeling. Uh, but anyway, of course, take a, take a look at the odds for this one then. Uh, what are we looking at? Paraguay coming at you, of course. A 12 to 5 for the victory. A 13 to 10 is your Ecuador. And 2 to 1 is your draw. Uh, I think I've gone with a 2 2 draw. I don't know where the goals are going to come from. But of course, 2 2 in the end. Maybe a 0 0. Uh, that sort of stuff. And then finally, wrapping up, wrapping up, it will be Argentina up against Venezuela. Of course, Argentina over there. Venezuela are already out. Uh, they've played the 14 times. So 3 10 was Argentina. 2 from Venezuela and 2 draws. Argentina, of course, uh, they are the uh, Copa America champions, of course. Uh, unbeaten in the last uh, six at, at the very least. 92% form for them right now. Just one win in five for uh, Venezuela. 33% form for them at the moment. The biggest win for Venezuela over Argentina was a 3-1 win. The biggest win over was a 4 0 win. Uh, Argentina have scored 33 goals over Venezuela over the course of those 14 matches. 12 goals returned by Venezuela. Works out at about 0.86 goals in ratio for Venezuela. 2.36 goals in ratio for Argentina. That's our picture that in Argentina, it was a 3-1 win for Venezuela.
Taylor back in March 2019. The reverse fixture, though, this campaign was a 3 1 win for Argentina way back in September. September, of course, what feels like a lifetime ago. Of course, Venezuela with a 4 1 loss to Uruguay last time around. Of course, Argentina with a 1 1 win over Colombia last time around. The odds for this one, though, to the 92 on is Argentina. They are red hot favourites. 5 2 1 is draw and 11 1 is your long shot, says Venezuela. But will they take it easy? Probably not. 3 0 win in the end for Argentina. They want to win this group and, of course, get a better seed in the World Cup qualifying campaign. That's it, guys. 3 0 win in the end. Uh, be sure to get your own picks as well. Cut before shots. WC22. Call NBL. And I'll see you back around for the final games. And, of course, probably the end of Chile's hope. But we'll see. We'll see uh, if, of course, my picks don't come true. If they don't all don't come true, then maybe, just maybe, Chile gets something out of it. But until then, guys, smash the thumbs up. Smash the subscribe. Check the links down below. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Twitch. I'm on Facebook. And I'm also on Patreon. But until then, boys, we're done. All right about now.